difference between permanent mold and die casting is the way the molten metal is fed into the cavity of the mold. Permanent mold, you use gravity to feed the metal into the steel mold. Essentially, you're pouring your uh, metal into a pour cup and you're letting gravity do the effect. So when it tilts back, the gravity flows in naturally, whereas in die casting, you are injecting the metal into the steel mold. The nice thing about the tilt pour process is it allows the molten aluminum to go into the tool and allow air to evacuate, um, creating a denser casting, a lot less churn. A lot of times castings are near net shape, so they need to be machined to get the final product. And when you're machining a low porosity cast, they're less likely to open up any um, air entrapment or gas entrapment in the casting, whereas if you were due to, to do an injected mold casting, you're going to get a lot more porosity below the surface. Permanent mold tooling tends to be about a fifth the cost of die casting. Die casting is typically reserved for a higher run product line. Um, something in the 50,000 units per year um, would make sense to jump up to die casting versus permanent mold. Permanent mold is closer to the die casting surface finish, but closer to the sand casting cost. We're the permanent mold experts and we've been in business for over 75 years.